In this episode, we are going to create a new component, which is going to be a to do item component for our application. And we are going to reconfigure our application a little bit so I can show you how you can use props to send data from one component to another. So basically, this episode is actually going to be about props since we already know how to create components. So that's not very interesting to us. But sending data from one component to another is very interesting to us because we are going to be doing that uh, throughout this series. Okay, so let's create our new component. And now we are going to separate this to do that view file into three sections, template, script and style. Also, this file is saved in SRC components. So we just create those three sections. And that's it. Okay, so what is this component going to be used for? It's going to be used for displaying a single to do item. Uh, so I'm just going to go to my to do list and copy all of this out. Because what we want to end up with in to do list that view is just a single tag. So to do tag, right, we want to end up with something like this. Of course, this is not going to work right now. Because if I go right here, we get an empty page. And if we check uh, our messages right here in the console, we see that we have an unknown custom element to do. Okay, so we are going to go to do, do and then I'm just going to paste this in. And we're going to change some stuff right here. So first of all, I'm just going to wrap this into a single div and call it uh, to do. So I'm just going to give it a class of to do. You can give it a class or you don't have to whatever. So next thing, we are not going to have this for each loop in our uh, template. So I'm just going to dis uh, actually delete all of this. And for now, I'm going to even delete this because that is going to create problems uh, in the in Chrome when we check out our page. So I'm just going to leave this as uh, not my new component, but I'm going to call it to do component. Okay, so now we define it right here. So export default, we give it a name of to do. And that's about it. So of course, this still doesn't work. Because to do list doesn't know about this component. So I'm just going to go to to do list. And first of all, I have to import it. So this is uh, the import of our component. And next, we need to define it right here. Okay, so we defined our component, let's save this. Uh, we have a problem uh, because we didn't put a comma right here. Okay, and now we have to do component. So next thing we want to do, we want to have all of this data actually coming in, in into our application entry point. So that would be app that view. So we don't want to call the data for our component inside the to do list. We want to call it inside app.view. So I can just take all of this. Go to app.view and paste it in. Okay. So we are receiving all of our data into our app.view. But if you check out the page, of course, we get this uh, error in mounted hook uh, reference error Axios is not defined. So we can just go to do, do list and import Axios there because we need it uh, right here. Okay, if we save this, refresh it. Now we don't get that Axios is not found. Okay, uh, what we want to end up right here is uh, we want to end up in to do list that view with uh, this to do uh, tag and then v4. So v4 to do in to do's. Of course, if I save this now, uh, we should get some errors. So first of all, property or method to do is not defined on the instance and so on. Okay, 
so this doesn't work right now uh, because we have to bind those to do's to our to do list component. So these to do's right here, we want to send them to the to do list. And to do that, you would do vbind. So you are binding to do's to this data right here to do's. Okay, of course, if I save this now, go right here, refresh it. Now we're still getting this property or method to do is not defined. Okay, so I'm going to go to the to do list that view and I have to define those properties. So I will do props, props to do's. Okay, and now we have to do component to do component to do component. Why? Because, let me just refresh this. As you can see, we don't have any errors, just this one war warning, but we are going to get rid of that warning also. So we are getting to do component to do component and so on. We are getting as much of them as we have, uh, as we have to do items in our to do list. But of course, we don't want to show this to do component, we want to show the title of the to do component and uh, the description of to do component, actually to do item. So we are def we defined these props right here. Uh, but now we want to display, let's say our title. So I'm going to delete this. And in another div tag, I'm just going to try to display the title of our to do item. Just like we did before. Okay, so to do title. And now if we go right here, of course, we get a whole load of errors. And those errors are property or method to do is not defined. So we need to do the same thing as we did when we uh, transferred actually sent the data from app to to do list. So we are going to go to to do list and we are going to bind this to do data right here. So we bind. And now, of course, we have to go to our component and uh, set that prop right here. So remember, we are not sending whole list to the to do view component. We are sending just one item of that list. OK, if we save this now, we're still getting errors, of course. And that is because I didn't bind uh, this to do correctly. So we bind to do, not just we bind, save this. And now as you can see, we get test and so on. We get the whole list of our to do's. If I refresh the page, as you can see, we don't have any errors anymore. So we can just go to to do, create maybe another div, or ju just put this to be h2. save it and now we have test and the description and this and then the description and so on. So one more thing we are having right here is this warning and it says something like uh, to do v4 to do and to do's component list rendered with v4 should have explicit keys. So we have to uh, explicitly define the keys for this component and it's uh, standard or it's common for that key to be the ID of the record that you are calling in. So we are just going to set that key right here and we can do it with vbind. Key is to do that ID. Because remember all of our to do items have an ID and we can call it right here. So to do that ID, if we save this and refresh it, as you can see, we are not getting that warning anymore. Also, just one more thing. Uh, you don't always have to write this vbind. You can just do it r r r uh, like this. So that would be a shorthand for that. So just to do and key. So whenever you uh, are doing vbind something, you, just, you, you can just write uh, this and then to do or whatever your prop is called. 
okay so this has been it for this video uh, remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you want to ask me questions you can use use facebook twitter github youtube and my site for that uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like the channel and content I put out, you can maybe subscribe to it. And of course, if you want to send some money my way, you can use the Patreon page for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.